Jamal, what's it actually like dealing with so many journalists across so many time zones? Well, the first challenge for us was to deal with uh, so much data because it, it, it's still the largest leak in journalism history. Oh, so right. a lot of people look at the Panama Papers like the success, but the reason why Panama Papers was a success, it's because we had small pilot projects or small, smaller investigations before that led to, uh, to, to led us to create these bonds of trust that when we got the Panama Papers made it easier for people to get involved. And The Guardian set up like a team of, I think five people that worked out in like in a room that nobody knew about and they worked out in a like for a year so for an editor to say yes to something as costly as that um, you know there has to be some like trust established before so I think it, it is very important uh, when you're dealing with collaborations and big collaborations like this to think I'm gonna start collaborating now because that way when a big thing happens then you've already established those 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 bonds because the year since I mean despite the Pulitzer Prize winning material, despite the fact that obviously, you know, all the sort of ramifications, 82 different countries, launched investigations, there are still some people, I know at The Guardian, well not at The Guardian, but about The Guardian, they'd say, yeah, but what was the point of that? What, what did it really, really achieve, given that offshore, uh, this sort of offshore behaviour still happens? What, I know you get asked this, what do you say to people that talk about this? Yeah, people tell me, oh yeah, Panama Papers was a big thing but nothing happened. And I think that um, that's on us journalists, because um, sometimes we cover a big investigation, uh, big noise for one month, two months, and then we don't cover the follow-ups and we don't cover that. So a lot of people, especially funders, are like, hey, when are we gonna have the next Panama Papers? Well, just know that projects like this uh, sometimes come at a high personal cost. So I think we should be thinking about how can we have projects like this being done repeatedly without burning people out or without four out of the five people from the leadership team having to take a year off from regular work.